Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. So uh, we're going to be moving on today. Um, we're actually going to move on to our attacking system. Um, so the basis of an attacking system, we need to actually get the player to look at a specific target. So when we start attacking, so we start throwing some punches, we <laughs> want to make sure that our character is actually landing those punches. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're basically going to make it so our character can face a certain target and when we move it moves relative to uh, the direction we're facing uh, so it's a little bit harder to explain but um, once it's all up and running um, it'll make more sense cool so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create our uh, dummy for a target so i'm just going to create a capsule uh, so this is going to act as our target i just popped that there so uh what we're going to do in order to uh, make our character look at this target, uh, we're going to be setting our uh, this target mode. So for now, I'm going to set that to true in the inspector, just so that by default, it's set to our target mode. So if I hit play, uh, you'll remember our target mode at the minute just gets the uh, character to face the camera. Um, so which is good, which is what we want for when we have a weapon. Um, but for now, we're going to be working on the melee, uh, so punching without a weapon. Um, and what we're basically going to do is have it so our character faces our capsule um, seeing how currently he isn't because he's just following the camera so let's go ahead and get started so what I'm firstly going to do is going to open up our camera script our camera controller here uh, open our region for position rotation and open up camera rotation uh, so this uh, player is target mode uh, we're basically not going to be dealing with this in the camera anymore we're actually going to be moving this to the player so I'm just going to come on out that whole if statement and then I'm going to move over to our player controller. I'm going to create a few variables up here. So there's uh, one little fix I wanted to throw in here um, and that is where we call this player movement equals vector 3.0. It actually creates uh, one or two funny glitches. Uh, so what we're actually going to do is we're going to change the way uh, this works. So we're going to throw um, this uh, vector3 uh, direction here into a variable and we're only going to set that variable if we're is moving um, and we're still going to do these calculations uh, regardless of whether we're moving or not so firstly I'm going to cut that and paste it just below it I'm going to get rid of this else statement here and then I'm going to create two vector3s to hold our camera relative forward and camera relative right uh, so they're just going to be private, so I'm just going to throw them here in the bottom. I'm going to have a private uh, vector 3. I'm going to have a camera relative forward. We'll also have camera relative right. Cool. So I'm going to go back down to where we removed our little snippet. And inside our is input moving, I'm just going to set the, the values for these new variables. And the values is basically going to be what we're using here. We also have camera relative right. And that's our camera transform that right. Cool. And then obviously instead of using these values, we use our variables. All right. So now that that fix is in place, um, we're now going to work on our rotation. Uh, so what we'll do now is we'll actually start uh, setting up our targeting rotation as well. Um, so I'm just going to create a new header. And uh, we can just call it combat. And inside here, firstly, what I want to do is create a public bool for is um, face target and a public transform for target. All right. So we're going to set these manually for now. So if I go into Unity, click now, good old fill, and then right at the bottom, I'm going to tick his face target, and I'm going to put our capture as our target, and then head back over to our script. OK. So now we're actually going to start our rotation. So if I go back to our camera controller, you can see what we had here. 
Um, so I'm just going to copy that, go back over to our player controller. And what I'm going to do for now, I'm just going to, uh, where we have the rotation for when we're not in target mode over here, we are basically just going to be changing this a little bit. So we're going to be adding our target mode rotation here, just like it is for the non-target mode. So I'm going to paste that in there for now. I'm going to grab its innards. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's, let's leave that, even though I just made up that word, I think. Um, okay, and then what we're going to do here is we're going to use our new boolean we created, uh, which was uh, is face target. Uh, and we'll also say and target to make sure that the target is actually set. Um, and we'll add an else at the end of that as well. Cool. All right, so we're going to move that into the else because uh, that's obviously not our targeted movement. And we basically need to fix a few of these references. So we don't need to say player controller dot transform anymore because we're on the player controller. We just do transform dot rotation. And same here as well. Just do transform dot rotation. Okay. So now the one thing we're missing is our target rotation dot y. Um, so if we go back to our camera controller, we can now remove this comment now that we've grabbed all of it. We have a look at our target rotation up here. It's set to private. Let's set that to public and also add the hide and inspector attribute. Now, if we go back over to here, I'm pretty sure we have a variable for our camera controller. So I'm just going to start typing it. Camera controller. Yep, there we go. And now we can grab the new variable, uh, target rotation, the new public variable, and use the dot y. Cool. Yep, that kind of made sense. Um, so if we go back into Unity, I'm going to untick is face target just to make sure that our target rotation is still working now that we've moved it over to the player controller. And cool, it uh, looks like it is. So let's go ahead and move on to our actual target rotation now. Uh, so obviously it's a little bit different. Uh, so let's, um, we'll start typing it out. So it's actually quite similar to our new rotation down here, except the only difference is obviously we um, find the position of the target and we use that as opposed to our camera's Y. Uh, so what we're going to do is we'll just create a variable called look direction and we'll just get, um, we'll basically get the direction of the target. And we'll make sure that the Y is set to zero so that we don't actually rotate the target on the Y. Um, and then we'll basically just do what we've done below. So let's go ahead and create our variable for look direction. And to find the look direction, what we're basically going to do is we're just going to take um, our position and our target's position. So we'll grab our target dot position and minus transform dot position. So that'll get the direction of the target. Um, and then what we're also going to do is we'll set look direction dot y to zero. Cool. Um, and then we're going to basically be doing similar to what we're doing down here. So we'll create a variable for our current rotation. I'm just going to copy that, put that over. And now we have our current rotation. Um, we could just do our look at. So if we scroll down a little bit to where we have the non-target mode, you can see here we basically get it to look in our player movement direction. So we're going to be doing similar to this. So I'm just going to copy all of this, go up a little and just paste it below our new current rotation. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to our player movement. Um, we don't want to use this variable anymore. We want to use our look direction. If I put our look direction in there, uh, plus our transform dot position, and then uh, we can calculate our new rotation based off of that. Okay, so now we basically mimicked what we were doing below, except instead of the direction of our movement, we use a direction of our target. 
So let's go ahead and give that a go and see how that comes out. So if I go back and tick our is face target boolean and hit play. There we go. You can see that no matter where I move the camera, the uh, player is still uh, just faces the target. So now what I want to do is I want to make the movement still relative to the camera. So if I hold backwards now, you see our character actually moves backwards, which if I make it relative to the camera, you should actually be moving right. Uh, so basically move, um, if I press back, move back uh, negative forward of the camera. Sorry, that probably <laughs> made that a lot more confusing. Um, okay, so what we'll do is we'll work out our movement uh, value uh, relative to the camera. So I'm going to go back over to our player controller. And uh, what we'll do is where we have um, our inspector speeds here. So when we're in target mode, um, instead of just using our vertical and horizontal speed, okay, so we'll work out the player movement relative to our character here. Um, so obviously player movement is relative to the camera. So we'll work out the values we need to give it the animator. So what we'll do is we'll call it var relative movement and what we'll do is we'll do another transform dot inverse transform direction what we're going to throw in here is our player movement and then instead of vertical speed we'll be using relative speed um not dot y i made that mistake too many times dot z <laughs> starting to learn now and our horizontal is basically going to be our X. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So player movements obviously calculated relative from the camera. So we basically need to find out what the values would be relative to the player and hand those values over. So I'll try to explain it better with the actual animator. So if I now hit play, firstly, let's just make it work. Make sure it works before I tell you what it's doing. All right. That is working. Uh, so let me open that up in the animator. Um, make sure we have the right layer selected. Base layer. Let's just go into targeted movement. So basically, the vertical is calculated and the horizontal is calculated depending on our camera now. So it does it relative. It just makes uh, movement a little bit easier. It's not 100% smooth, as you can see. Um, but that'll change once we start um, adding some nicer animations in and uh, doing a few more states. Uh, but the key thing is that it works now. Uh, what I'm also going to do by default is uh, uncheck there is walking. Um, let's just quickly make sure that that's working as well. Which it is. Okay, so... What I'm going to move on to next is actually when to turn that on and when to turn it off depending on our attacks. So in the next episode, we will be dealing with some animations. Um, well, at least in the next uh, few episodes. Uh, so yeah, uh, thank you for watching this episode and I uh, will see you in the next one.